Let's talk about money habits. Why do some folks seem to navigate finances smoothly while others face constant struggles? We're diving into how people with lower and higher incomes handle their money. Exploring 10 habits that illustrate economic distinctions and financial decisions. Welcome back to the Billionaire Channel, the place where we inspire the billionaires of tomorrow on their journey. In this episode, we take a closer look at 10 money habits shared by both the rich and the poor. First, we are going to look at the money habits of individuals with lower incomes. Limited financial education. Individuals with lower incomes often lack access to formal financial education. Without understanding basic concepts like budgeting, saving, and investing, they may struggle to make informed financial decisions. For instance, someone with limited financial education might not be aware of the benefits of compound interest, missing out on potential long-term savings. Living paycheck to paycheck. Living paycheck to paycheck means relying on each paycheck for immediate expenses. For example, if an unexpected car repair arises, someone living paycheck to paycheck might struggle to cover the cost, leading to financial stress and potential debt. Short-term financial focus. Prioritizing immediate desires, such as frequenting coffee shops or indulging in the purchase of a new TV, may divert attention from long-term goals. For an individual with lower income, the allure of these short-term pleasures might supersede the importance of saving for retirement. This short-term focus on discretionary spending can hinder wealth accumulation over time. Limited access to banking services. Without access to traditional banking, individuals may resort to check cashing services or payday loans. These alternatives often come with high fees. For instance, someone without a bank account might pay substantial fees to cash their paycheck. Fear of investing. A fear of losing money in investments is common. Imagine someone who heard about stock market losses during a recession. This fear may lead them to avoid investing altogether, missing potential opportunities for wealth growth. Impulse spending. Limited resources may lead to impulse spending on non-essential items. For example, someone might buy an expensive gadget on credit, even if it means accumulating high interest debt due to the desire for immediate gratification. Over-reliance on credit. In the absence of savings, individuals may turn to credit cards for emergencies. This reliance can lead to a cycle of debt. For instance, using a credit card to cover monthly expenses may result in accumulating high interest debt over time. Under insurance. Some individuals may opt for minimal insurance coverage to save money. Consider someone who chooses a basic health insurance plan but faces substantial out-of-pocket expenses when unexpected medical issues arise. Limited networking opportunities. Lower income individuals may have fewer networking opportunities. This lack of connections can affect career growth and limit exposure to financial advice or potential job opportunities. Cultural factors. Cultural norms may encourage sharing resources within a community. While this fosters a sense of community, it can also limit individual financial independence. For example, Pooling money for a family event may take precedence over saving for personal goals. The common thread woven through the financial habits of those with lower incomes is a narrative of financial constraints and a focus on survival. These individuals grapple with limited resources, leading to a short-term orientation where immediate needs, such as housing, food, and healthcare, take precedence over long-term goals. A pervasive lack of formal financial education becomes apparent, impacting the ability to make informed decisions and plan for the future effectively. This financial vulnerability often forces a reliance on credit, either due to the absence of savings or as a quick solution for emergencies, perpetuating a cycle of debt. Cultural factors and community-centric behaviors influence financial decisions fostering resource sharing but potentially hindering individual financial independence. Moreover, limited networking opportunities add another layer of challenge, affecting career growth and restricting access to valuable financial advice. In essence, these common themes underscore the intricate interplay of factors shaping the financial habits of those with lower incomes. Addressing these challenges requires comprehensive efforts in financial education, accessible banking services, and initiatives that empower individuals to plan for long-term financial stability. 
As we explore how people handle money with different incomes, we notice clear differences in their habits. Now let's move on to the money practices of those with higher incomes. This will help us understand the strategies and mindsets that contribute to their financial success. Financial education and continuous learning. Wealthier individuals prioritize ongoing financial education. They may attend workshops, read financial books, or hire financial advisors. For instance, attending a seminar on tax planning can help someone maximize their financial efficiency. Emphasis on long-term goals. Affluent individuals often set clear long-term goals. Consider someone who diligently saves for their children's education or plans for a comfortable retirement. This long-term perspective shapes their financial decisions. Diversified investments. Wealthy individuals diversify their investments across various asset classes. For example, owning a mix of stocks, bonds, and real estate helps spread risk and potentially increase overall returns. Effective budgeting and financial planning. Wealthy individuals engage in detailed budgeting. They allocate funds strategically, ensuring they have both short-term liquidity and long-term savings. This might involve using budgeting apps or consulting with financial planners. Networking and mentorship. Affluent individuals actively network and seek mentorship. They attend industry events and build relationships with successful individuals. A mentor might guide someone towards lucrative investment opportunities or career advancements. Proactive approach to debt. Wealthier individuals approach debt strategically. They may use low interest loans for investments that have the potential to yield higher returns. This calculated approach differs from using high interest debt for daily expenses. Focus on assets rather than liabilities. The wealthy prioritize acquiring assets that appreciate over time. For example, investing in real estate or stocks aligns with the goal of building wealth, whereas accumulating liabilities like luxury items may not contribute to long-term financial success. Entrepreneurial Mindset Many wealthy individuals have an entrepreneurial mindset. They actively seek and create opportunities for multiple streams of income. This might involve starting a business, investing in startups, or engaging in other income-generating ventures. Charitable giving and philanthropy. Wealthy individuals often engage in philanthropy. Beyond personal satisfaction, charitable giving can have tax benefits. Consider someone establishing a foundation to support causes they believe in, contributing to both societal well-being and personal fulfillment. Effective use of tax strategies. The wealthy employ tax strategies to minimize liabilities legally. This may include taking advantage of tax deductions, credits, or investing in tax-efficient vehicles. By optimizing their tax situation, they can retain more of their wealth. In conclusion, understanding the nuances of these money habits can shed light on the challenges faced by individuals in different economic strata. Addressing the root causes, promoting financial inclusivity, and providing accessible education are crucial steps toward fostering a more equitable financial landscape. That marks the end of this episode on the Billionaire Channel. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time!